Hey guys, welcome to another editing session. Um, it is a uh, warm Sunday afternoon, I think, and we're inside, kind of just doing some editing work. Still continuing on that um, canyon in uh, Petra, but uh, let's go and jump right into it. Uh, I'm not going to waste too much time here jumping into the uh, details of exactly what I'm doing, but you guys, if you've watched the previous videos, you kind of know the story. Uh, Long Canyon that heads down uh, into Petra. Petra kind of heads down uh, downhill and sits in this kind of uh, valley surrounded by mountains. You can't really see it from the outside, so you got to kind of squirrel your way through this canyon um, to to get to Petra. This is after the the night tour, uh, the light show at, at the Treasury. Um, so coming on back, you see that the uh, lights, the little candles, were lighting up the, the canyon. I was getting a little closer to the outside, so you started to see a little bit more of the city lights in here. Um, overall, I just like kind of the, the flow of the canyon and, and how things are are uh, um, contrasting with one another. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Uh, first thing, uh, I always kind of like to look at the, uh, the trail here again, similar to the other ones. I'm gonna rotate this just a little bit. And I actually might get rid of the lights completely. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just get rid of the lights completely. So we can focus on the, the walls, the texture of the walls. Bam. So you kind of see the contrasting light through here. Take that, those highlights down just a little bit. Bring those whites up. Whoa! Too much, too much, too much, too much. Maybe 25, 40. Making sure this doesn't get too hot here. Because uh, when I take it into Photoshop, I might actually do another exposure here, so I'm not going to get that too hot. Shadows, we're going to increase the shadows just a little bit. Take the blacks down. I'm going to do a dehaze, see if I can get some contrast in there. I like seeing it up here so this gets dark that's bright back here and a nice contrast leading your eye into the, the center there I'm gonna do a 30 it's looking pretty good take the texture up just a little bit 20 what does the clarity do here always a little uh, um, Sorry, focusing on this area here. Clarity, you can definitely go too much on it. Like, it gets way too contrasty, and that looks uh, weird. So I might just do, like, a 15, maybe. Let's see where that takes me. 15 to 0. 0. Uh, just keep it at a 0, I think. I lied. 10, maybe? 5? Let's go to 5. Um, I want to bring out the blue in the sky here as well. So I'm going to do that same uh, radio gradient. Take it down here. Come on. Rotate. A little bigger, a little wider. Kind of catch all the way through the gap there. Bring that temperature down. Boom. A nice night sky going through there. It's like a little spot of color, right? Kind of opposing color here from uh, the reds to the yellow to the blue. So stick it right there. See that same point? Maybe I'll kind of warm the overall temperature of everything. Not too much. 3100, we'll do a uh, 3300 maybe. Just get a little bit more reds in there. That's nice, I like that's where that's going. Cool, take that sharpening down. I'm gonna zoom in, take a look at my luminance a little bit here. 15.
running into the same issue with some of those spots there. Yeah, it's getting the color down. I get rid of some of that a bit. It's not too bad. It's kind of unnoticeable from far away, anyways. Bam, bam, bam. Save it to Photoshop. So what we'll do is we'll add a hue saturation layer. Um, I'm gonna go to my yellows here. Let's do the eyedropper. I'm gonna choose here. Um, again, it, you know it's it's a little hard to tell, but I'm definitely going to change this up just a little bit. So if I slide that, I'm gonna change it to a little bit more of a red, and I don't want it affecting everything, right? So I'm gonna play with my mask. my little brush out I'm just gonna brush right over that kind of area there so it's a little less green a little bit more red and orange just like that bam before after makes a huge difference See, it just uh, fits better into that canyon now. Cool. Let's add some shadows. Shadows, shadows. Way too much. Blend it. And this is going to be ever so slightly, just on the darkest parts, right? So, just adds a little bit of blue. Adds a little detail in there, but I'm gonna ghost it. So it's just barely noticeable, but adds just that extra bit of depth in there. Bam, 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 bam. Do 60. Too much? Too much. Do 50 there I'm not a little vignette bin bin yet bin yet bin yes take it down I'll open my brush bam 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 tap 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 high tap low tap tappy tap again double it up Exposure, Maybe like a three-five, maybe. Nah, nah, nah. Point five. Shoot, let's go point six. Take those highlights down. That's what I want. Affecting the, my highest whites. Bam. Same mask. Invert it. Four, after, four, after, four, after. Bam. Let's go and sharpen things up. A little flirty flirn. Soft play. Go away, get rid of that. Let's go and zoom in. 100%. Double that up. Radius, do it again, 1.5, do it again, we'll do a 2.5 on this. Looking good. Not 2.5. Group those so I can see what I'm doing here. Before, after, before, after. I'm gonna do one more of each actually. I'm gonna do a 2.5, 1.5. Crisp. Before, after, before, after. 
Okay. Before, after, before, after. All right. Oh, that looks good. Duplicate this background. We're gonna do some dodging on this layer. Just little areas where I can see kind of that detail. Really just those highlights right here, right? Bam. Whoopa. Maybe not right there, that's gonna be too bright. Here, here. Back there a little bit. There. Like here on this edge. This edge. Down that edge. Underneath, kind of throw some emphasis there. On the side of the wall here. Yeah, buddy. Before, after, before, after. Boom. We're gonna call it good, guys. Right there is quick edits. Um, I'm gonna start speeding these up a little bit, just because I feel like uh, the pacing of it in the previous video is probably a little too slow. Um, and again, this isn't really meant to be instructional. It's more so for somebody who is a little bit more experienced and. Um, kind of understand what Lightroom and Photoshop is doing. I'm just really, again, trying to show my process here, give some insights. Um, hopefully you get something out of this um, and you enjoy kind of listening to me talk. Hopefully I'm not rambling too much, but uh, I'll catch you in the next video again, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and watching. Um, we'll look to do some more editing videos in the future. All right, have a good weekend, guys. Bye.